Inclusion is the issue of how we teach children who require something a bit special or different to help them to understand. Science is hard enough to teach to children who can see. How do you get across an idea like the digestive system if most of your pupils can't see what you're talking about? Sarah Hughes is one of the people who comes here to the Institute to share her expertise. Sarah teaches in a school where all the pupils are blind or visually impaired. But I think you'll agree that the techniques that she shows us are useful whether or not your children are able to see. Another idea um, is a knitted digestive system. So um, our classes are very small, but in a mainstream classroom and with my classes, I sometimes extend this along the length of the classroom. It really demonstrates the point that um, this whole system is very big, very lengthy, and also students then uh, can, can transfer this idea to a diagram of the digestive system and they can consider that that does actually fit in this space because that's another thing they think if it's that big how can it possibly fit into that space so um, length, we, we then walk the length of the digestive system talking about each component in part um, when we get to the small intestine which I point out isn't so small between four and six meters long then there's also an increased surface area thanks to villi in the small intestine. So just a Tesco's bath mat, um, I noticed this is very much like villi. Even with my A-level students, I point out that the little fibres are like the micro villi. So don't forget that your A-level students love things like this too. It's not just a case of using it with lower school or younger, younger students. Every age group loves it.